What's up, family? We have some updated information regarding our Social Security recipients, and this does include COLA estimates, new ones uh, that I want to share with you today. Check this out right here, where we now have an estimate for the 2025 COLA increase, and this is all because of inflation, which is still going up. You guys know what I'm talking about when you go to the grocery store, when you order services, have things delivered to your home, everything, every price on everything is going up and it doesn't look like things are going to come down anytime soon. But anyways, in regards to this 2025 estimate for the COLA increase, we now have new estimates and seniors are feeling a little bit short. Uh, yes, it says that the latest estimate for Social Security cost of living adjustment for 2025 jumped to around 2.4% due to the sharper gains in the inflation last month that we saw, according to the Senior Citizens League. You all know them. They are a nonprofit advocacy group, which uh, they are fighting for every single person out there on Social Security, including our seniors, those individuals on SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries. But anyways, as they stated that in January, the 2025 COLA estimate was around 1.75%. Now, because of the Consumer Price Index or the CPI data that came out earlier this week, it rose to 3.2% for the month of February from just a year ago, according to the government data. And the so-called core rate which strips out volatile food and energy prices rose 3.8% on the year. Uh, but anyways, the subset consumer price index for urban wage earners and clerical workers or CPIW, that COLA is based on rose two tenths of a percent from the January to now 3.1%. What does this all mean? Well, it means that uh, previously you were expected to receive around a 1.75% increase, and now with the new data, including the inflation information, it now looks like that percentage amount has actually gone up. So yes, the COLA increase has now been projected to be a little bit higher from the previous projection. Again, like I said, this is coming from our Senior Citizens League group, which is the nonprofit organization and they keep track of this all the time and they always reporting the new information or the latest updates in regards to our social security recipients. Uh, so anyways, like I said, the good news is that so far, the increase is going up a little bit, but again, it doesn't necessarily matter right now because this is for 2025. We won't actually get the final data till later on this year in the October timeframe. But again, we are still excited about the current 3.2% increase that we are receiving for the current year of 2024. Uh, but anyways, that is just a small update in regards to the COLA increase or the cost of living adjustment. But I do have another article guys and I want to get your thoughts on this but uh, anyways check this out right here where this particular pundit a conservative pundit uh, he is saying that retirement is a stupid idea what do you think about that this is the first time that I've actually seen someone call retirement stupid uh, I know it's probably hard for me to understand that because I grew up my entire life knowing and thinking in the back of my head that if I put in money uh, into this trust fund that I'm going to get some of that back when I hit the retirement age to allow me to continue to keep up my same type of living. Uh, but anyways, this particular person thinks that it is just a stupid idea altogether and he wants to get rid of it. Uh, but anyways, he said that the whole concept of retiring so that you can actually enjoy part of your life is lazy, liberal nonsense. No different than catering to the weak work entitlements like lunch breaks or sick days. I'm not necessarily sure I'm buying it from this particular guy, but anyways, as I continue to read on, he says that whether it's a conservative pundit saying retirement is a stupid idea or a GOP presidential candidate, Donald Trump, talking about cutting Medicare and Social Security. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But uh, one thing is clear. Republicans rightly recognize that all of us Americans would be better off if we worked until we're dead. Tell me, guys. Who wants to work until they're dead? Who wants to have to uh, live up and do whatever our boss says for the rest of our lives? I don't necessarily think that that's how 
this society or the world was actually created. As you already know, some people figure out a way to where they don't have to work till they're 65 and 62 years old. They have figured out a way to actually retire, some of them at the age of 30. I know me, I know close friends of mine have actually retired at the age of 30. But what do you guys think about this in what this particular person is saying that uh, you should work until you die? Some of us can't work that long, guys. Let's just be clear because your legs might not work anymore, your limbs might not work anymore, and you're just too tired or you're either in a wheelchair, you're not necessarily driving or you lose your eyesight, disability, things of that sort. You can't necessarily work until you die. Some people live until they're 99 years old. It's not common, but some people live that long. And who wants to be forced to work that long just so they can put food on their table? Uh, anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this. This is just a horrible statement. But anyway, comment down below. I would love to get your thoughts on this. He went on to say that I strongly support this stance and have long planned to continue to working until my last breath, collapsing face first onto a laptop as my ancient carcass succumbs to the ravages of time. That is a statement from this particular person. His name was Ben Chaparro. Uh, but anyways, just wanted to give you that update in regards to this. I thought this article was a little rather weird, but let me know. Do you guys agree with him? You may think that way. I don't know, but uh, comment down below and let me know how you feel about that. And then in speaking of inflation, I know a lot of people are getting hit right now. And I want to go back to a, a particular topic that came out a couple of years ago by the Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, in which she made a statement saying that inflation was transitory. Now, now, I just have to admit to you guys, I did not necessarily know what transitory meant at the time. And I actually went two years and still didn't worry about what that meant. But I recently looked it up because it came back up again to this year, this month. And uh, the Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, she said that that is one thing that she regrets that she said uh, a couple of years ago. She said that she regrets saying inflation was transitory. Now, for those of you that don't know, like myself, transitory means that it is only temporary. So basically, she was saying that the inflation that we were receiving in America right now is transitory, that it was only temporary, that everything would go back to normal. Well, look at it, guys two years later and things are even higher than they were when she actually made the statement. Uh, so yes, I can only imagine that this is exactly why she is regretting making that statement. And shocking enough that considering she is the Treasury Secretary, obviously we would assume that she has some type of knowledge in regards to how finance and economics work. So uh, to be able to say that statement, knowing that in the past, anytime that we have had inflation, it has never been temporary. It's always here to stay. Think about how much you actually paid for a hamburger years ago. Wasn't it like 50 cents? Well, inflation has hit that hamburger for multiple years. And here we are today. Hamburgers are costing anywhere between $3 and $10. Or if you go to Five Guys, even $20. <laughs> but anyways, yes, Janet Yellen is regretting that she made that statement. And uh, yes, I'm sure that is very embarrassing for her to come out and have to admit that. Uh, but anyways, moving on, I do want to go ahead and talk to you about some updates in regards to Social Security. Uh, previously, President Biden on the campaign trail of 2024 talked about how he wanted to improve and reform Social Security. Remind you guys again that he also talked about the same thing on the campaign trail when he was running for his first term as the president of the United States. And here it is. He has been in office for three years and still has done nothing for Social Security or for Social Security reform. And now, now that he is running for the uh, second term of the president, he is bringing it back up again, uh, probably trying to win over more voters to vote him in as the next president of the United States. Can we believe him? He failed the first time. He lied to us. And here he is doing it again. Can we believe him this time? I don't think so, guys. But uh, anyways, it does sound good when you are campaigning to uh, receive the second term in the office. But I will not hold my breath on that notion. But on the flip side, we also talked about uh, Donald Trump has said in the past he has told Republicans, do not do anything to Social Security. Leave it alone. Don't worry about it. Leave Social Security the way it is. And yes, that was obviously in favor for him in regards to our seniors and our Social Security recipients. But earlier this week, 
I have to report on this, guys, because Trump did a little bit of flip-flopping. Uh, yes, uh, earlier this week, Trump made a statement saying that he is open to the idea of Social Security cuts. Now, this was a vague statement that came out of his mouth, and a lot of people didn't necessarily know what he meant by it, but uh, the idea of saying that he is open to the idea of discussing cuts to not just Social Security, guys, but also Medicare. Well, uh, all the American people, specifically Social Security and Medicare individuals, they were not happy about this statement, especially as Donald Trump is leading the polls everywhere in every state, guys. Uh, but anyways, yes, Donald Trump made this statement earlier this week and of course, President Biden took the opportunity to hammer him on that statement that he made in regards to making cuts to the entitlement programs. And yes, obviously the American people did not like it and they have come for Donald Trump. Of course, yesterday, Donald Trump had to back he had to back up his statements in regards to Social Security. And this is how it actually went down. Yes, according to Trump and his campaign, they have gone on a little bit of damage control mode in regards to his comments that he made earlier this week. And uh, his campaign is suggesting that uh, cutting Medicare and Social Security benefits was not exactly what he meant. He said that, look, there is a lot that you can do in the terms of entitlements, in terms of cutting, and in terms of also theft and bad management of the entitlement programs, tremendous bad management of the entitlements. There's tremendous amounts of things and numbers of things that you can do. This is what he backtracked and told CNBC, rambling on in regards to his response as to why he made the statements. And then he also ended up adding, he said, look, I know that they're going to end weakening Social Security because the country is weak. It is an apparent suggestion that Biden administration would make cuts to the program. Uh, so anyways, that is a little bit only regards to how he tried to back up his statements that he was open to the idea of making cuts to Medicare and Social Security. And again, uh, Trump is now vowing that he will never do anything to Social Security after President Biden seized on Trump's statements that he made earlier this week. This is what he said in an interview. Uh, he said that, look, I will never do anything that will jeopardize or hurt Social Security or Medicare. Trump made this statement in an interview with uh, Breitbart News that was published on Thursday. So anyways, guys, take that with a grain of salt. We do know from history that Republicans do want uh, to make multiple cuts to Social Security and Medicare. They even want to go a step further and they want to end the programs all together. Uh, so that is in line considering that Donald Trump is a uh, GOP Republican. So it obviously lines up with them. But then you have on the flip side where liberals, uh, Democrats are always fighting uh, to increase the benefits for Social Security as well as Medicare. They also want to add more money to the trust fund. They also want to allow more individuals to be able to receive the benefits. Uh, so again, obviously that lies uh, directly in alignment with President Biden and exactly what he is pushing for or when he is campaigning on the campaign trail. So obviously you do have the two sides and obviously you will use that information uh, when you go to the polling stations uh, later on this year. So uh, anyways, guys, take all that information and make your own decision in regards to either candidate. I won't necessarily tell you which one to vote for. I know me myself, I don't like either one of them. I want someone else, but Unfortunately, we are stuck with these two knuckleheads once again. So uh, anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this, especially that statement in regards to uh, retirement being very stupid. I definitely want to hear what you have to say about that. But outside of all that, guys, I hope you get an opportunity to hit the like button down below, as well as if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, I hope to see you guys on the next video.